My hematocrit is 55. How do I bring that down? So when you're on testosterone replacement therapy, you know, there are some different things that you want to do. And for me, I call it uh, testosterone replacement therapy maintenance. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to get two donations a year and you might need more. But at that point, usually, um, you know, if, if your hemoglobin hematocrit and red blood cell count are a little high, a donation, usually they're going to take 500 mLs from you and that's usually going to work by bringing it down. If it's really high, they might have to do two donations for you, one every couple of weeks to get the levels down to where you want to get them. But getting a, a, a donation in for blood work, uh, excuse me, a donation in for blood, that would be the way to go. Or you can get a, a therapeutic phlebotomy, that's a prescription signed by a doctor that says you can get the blood taken out and they will take the blood out from you there. We don't write that unless you are a patient with us on testosterone replacement therapy, just so you know that. So if you're an underground guy that's taking testosterone or any, uh, any other anabolic and your hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cell count are very high, we can't help you out unless you're on testosterone with us, okay? Just, I want to be upfront for you guys. So you guys aren't calling like, John said I can get a therapeutic phlebotomy. No, you got to be a patient to get it um, and be on testosterone with us, not just a patient getting, you know, Hercules potion or ECAs, whatever it may be. We want to make sure we're taking care of people right. We have to do that.